Hey everyone, how's it going? Good morning. It's me, Larry the Batman fan. Uh, if you hear that noise in the background, that's just my fan right here. It's been pretty warm out lately, so I've been having to keep my fan on. Uh, so, for a long, long time, I could not find this case. About uh, two months ago, I, I found it, and I'm finally getting around to doing this video. I had said a long time ago when I was doing my DVD collections, I did, I think, seven parts. And they're still up on my channel if you guys haven't seen my previous parts to my DVD collection. Uh, go ahead and check those videos out. They didn't get, like, the most amazing views. I think the, the most they got was, like, 100 views or something. But hopefully more people will, uh, check those videos out. So, yeah, this is the case I was looking for with the DVDs in them. I still kept everything, uh, from, you know, the movies and TV shows, except I threw out Nancy Drew season one and season two because there was some LGBT stuff in it so I threw it away I am a fan of Nancy Drew don't get me wrong but not if there's LGBT stuff in it or cursing God or anything really demonic in movies and TV shows that's where I draw the line I just don't want to dishonor the Lord by doing that since I'm a Christian you know, I gotta have morals and standards and everything, so I threw that away. I also don't have the Eternals anymore. I threw that out too, cause I had some uh, some gay stuff in it. I saw that when it first came out in the theater. I really liked that movie. I thought it was a decent uh, Marvel superhero film, but it did have some LGBT stuff in it, so I threw it out and no longer have that either. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what I have here. I've got, uh, and by the way, a few of these were actually given to me by my brother. I guess he decided he didn't want them anymore. He just doesn't have enough space like I do. My room's bigger than his. But if he was to ask for it back, I would gladly give it back to him. Because they're not mine, really. 47 meters down on Cage, that's my brother's, and Minions, which is basically a spin-off of Despicable Me. I know they got four of those movies now. At the time, I think it was just Despicable Me 1, 2, and 3. And they did make a sequel to Minions as well. Minions, The Rise of Gru. Yeah. Haven't watched any of those. But I heard that they're family friendly, which is good. They're all PG. The Net, which was a thriller film with Sandra Bullock. I think that's one of her best movies. Besides uh, Premonition. And there was another film that she was in I really liked. Uh, it was The Blind Side. And uh, there, w there was one more. Um, it was a thriller. I can't remember what it is, but there was another thriller movie that she was in that I really liked. It was pretty good, the net. Along Came a Spider is a uh, Alex Cross movie. They did the uh, first two Alex Cross movies with uh, Morgan Freeman. I liked this movie. It was a good uh, detective movie, good thriller film. The third one was with... Uh, um, that dude, what's his name? Tyler something? Tyler Perry, that's it. Him. Yeah. <coughs> I thought that the ones that Morgan Freeman did were a lot better, though, than the one that Tyler Perry did. Abduction, um, pretty forgettable action movie. Really not that great. Could have been a lot better, honestly. X-Men Days of Futures Past. Not a bad X-Men movie. Pretty good uh, Marvel X-Men film. 
they're all good all the x-men movies except for x-men dark phoenix that movie sucks in my opinion i like all the other x-men films that they did though i know that the first x-men movie that came out in like 2000 got some hate as well but honestly i i don't understand why but i, I know that the first one wasn't like the most action-packed but it was still a decent film a lot better than Dark Phoenix, that's for sure. Watership Down, I love this movie. Saw it as a kid. Uh, of course, I saw it on VHS back then. I didn't see it on DVD, but as an adult, I have it on DVD. It's a good film. It's about these rabbits that are traveling from one part of the land to another. But then they encountered some uh, vicious dogs and evil monsters and an evil rabbit as well. You know, it was going to be rated G, but because of some of the violence in the film, they ended up rating it PG instead. The Island, a uh, very confusing thriller. Uh, online, this is listed as an action movie with Ewan McGregor. It's really not an action movie, it's more of a thriller. Some people end up on this, like, island and, you know, shit hits the fan. Stuff happens to people, you know. Uh, it could have been better, honestly. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 was good. Iron Man and War Machine fight uh, Whiplash in the game. And these evil monkey-looking dudes. I liked it. I thought uh, Robert Downey Jr. was good in the first two Iron Man movies, but he sucked in the third one. And the third one was abysmal because the third one, Mandarin, was like a pushover. Like, he sucked as the villain. And, like, Mandarin is supposed to be Iron Man's greatest foe. Why did they turn him into such a sucky um, villain? And then, like, after the... Uh, first 30 minutes of that film he's in he ends up fighting some uh human dudes throughout the rest of the film it was ridiculous but the first two iron man movies were good um i'll admit the first iron man film didn't have as much action as i would have liked to have seen it needed more action but it was still good because it was trying to explain his origins of how he was becoming iron man so I still respect the first Iron Man movie from 2008 and the second one. Second one being the best out of the three. The Italian Job, very good movie. Um, it's got Jason Statham in it. One of his more family friendly uh, movies. Although there is uh, one or two misuses of the Lord's name in vain in it. Just throwing that out there for all you Christians out there. Because I did notice that. It's PG-13. There's some language in the film and violence. But it is a good film. Good action film. A lot better than the game. I played the game on PS2. Didn't like the game. The uh, movie's good, though. We Were Soldiers with Mel Gibson. That's a good war film. I like that. Drill Bit Taylor is a very funny comedy movie about these two bullies that are bullying these three nerd nerdy kids. So the nerdy kids end up hiring a uh, b um, bodyguard played by Owen Wilson to defend them against those two bullies. Daylight, that is a underrated Stallone movie. Nobody really talks about this movie. It is an action film, but it's also a disaster film. Kind of in the same vein as uh, Twisters, Poseidon. And a day after tomorrow. It's uh, pretty good. You know. It's a good disaster type of film. Poseidon. Speaking of Poseidon. This is another disaster film. Um, like crazy waves and stuff. In the film. And there's survivors trying to survive. Trying to get to higher ground. So they don't drown. Good film. Um, I recommend that. There's another uh, disaster movie I almost forgot to mention. It's called The Perfect Storm. 
And there's also a sequel now to uh, Twister. It's called Twisters. Which is a really dumb title in my opinion. They should have called it Twister 2. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they called it Twisters. It's the same shit with uh, Alien 2. They call it Aliens instead of Alien 2. I don't know why. Stupid. Uh, Brick Mansions, that's a good uh, action film with uh, Paul Walker. I like that. He teams up with another dude to take out a whole army of people, corrupt people. Had a little bit of politicalness in it, which I'm not really a fan of. But overall, it wasn't like pushing any political agendas or anything like that. It was good. Good time, good action film. And they kept the obscenities low in the film, which is why it was PG-13. Not a lot of cursing in it. Cliffhanger with Stallone, that's one of his, Stallone's best movies besides like, you know, Daylight and Demolition Man and the Rocky films, the first, like, three. Uh, it's a good film, I like it. It's basically about some dude named Gabe Walker whose girlfriend ends up killed because he couldn't, like, pull her up, you know, from the plane and she loses his grip, ends up dying from uh, the mountaintops. Later on, he and I think one other person are trying to um, get the money back, but there's a bunch of bad guys that are after him for his money, you know, and they kidnap one of his friends, I think. So it's a good movie, I recommend it. And John Lithgow played a good villain in it. You'd be surprised, John Lithgow Knows how to play the villain in these movies pretty well. And he also has played the good guy as well. Another villain movie that he played, a villainous role, uh, was uh, in the movie Ricochet. He did pretty good in that too. Death Warrant, that's a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. It's pretty good. I recommend that. Underrated, really. Edge of Darkness, another good Mel Gibson movie. I like that. He's a cop in that movie. Going after a serial killer. Some of his best movies, in my opinion, has to be We Were Soldiers, Edge of Darkness, Force of Nature, Lethal Weapon. Um, the Patriot. Those are some of his best films. Oh, and, and uh, Get the Gringo. That's good, too. The Losers is an underrated action movie that's underappreciated. A lot of people don't talk about it. It's good. Blue Streak is a good film with uh, Martin Lawrence. He's a criminal. He ends up uh, trying to steal a diamond along with two of his friends, but it fails. And he ends up arrested. When he gets out of prison, he goes to see his girlfriend, and his girlfriend dumps him. He poses as a cop showing up at a uh, police station which was once an abandoned building where he was trying to get the uh, the diamond, you know. So, he plays a character named Miles Logan in the film. It's good. It's a good uh, action comedy film. You know, he learns to be like a cop even though he's really not a cop. The Matrix Resurrections. What a disappointing movie this was. It wasn't anywhere near as good as the original three. It needed more action in it. And it was, it was just confusing. You know? Had this movie have had more action in it. And a better uh, storyline plot. Or plot storyline. Whatever you want to call it. It would have been a better film. Tommy Boy, I like that. That's a funny comedy. I remember one scene in the movie where he's like, you know, housekeeping, you want me to bring you new towels? No, ma'am, I'm sleeping. Housekeeping, you want me to uh, change your sheets and give you new sheets? No, ma'am, I'm sleeping. It's sleepy time. 
Housekeeping, you want me to jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? <laughs> Great film. Tommy Boy was funny. Really good uh, 90s film. It's a shame that uh, Chris Farley passed away. David Spade's still alive, but Chris Farley's gone. He was one of the kings of slapstick comedy, really. Uh, I also have Black Sheep by him. Uh, both very good uh, movies. The Sandlot 2, that's a good uh, family-friendly comedy, sports comedy. Bunch of kids that are trying to get their baseballs back. But there's this like vicious dog that, you know, messes their shit up. You know, like the dog can like rip through a baseball bat. Like, that dog is really brutal, you know? So, it's a good film. What kind of crap are we... What kind of crap is that supposed to be? It could be dog crap for all we know. You don't ever hit a girl, creep. Um, I crap my pants. <laughs> Such a funny film. Both of them, Sandlot 1 and 2. The 355, this is a, um action film that came out like two or three years ago. I remember it being a decent film, although the critics gave it mixed reviews, but I, I liked it. It's PG-13 because it kept the obscenities low. Not a lot of language in the film, very light. But it was good. A little bit confusing, but you eventually start to understand the plot. Yeah, overall it was a good film. Hopefully they make a sequel to that. Uh, this is The Water Boy with Adam Sandler. That's a good film. Good uh, sports drama film. Red Eye, that's a good uh, underrated uh, thriller film. There's a lady named, played by Rachel McAdams and Cillian Murphy who plays the role of a villain in most of the films. She ends up on a plane with this guy talking to him for a while but little does she know that he's actually uh, after her you know wants to murder her although he seems innocent kinda comes off as a good guy at first for like the first like 30 minutes or so but then when he reveals what he wants to do to her does her best to get away from him you know it's a good film good uh, thriller film Sing 2 that's funny that's a funny uh, cartoon film I never saw the first one but I have the second one Chronicles of Narnia Prin Prince Caspian I applaud Hollywood for this film because it's a Christian film that a lot of people didn't know is Christian it's good Dial M for Murder, that's a classic thriller film from the 1950s. Basically a movie about this guy, this husband, who wants to kill his wife. Although he doesn't want to do it himself. He wants to hire somebody to murder her. However, the problem is, is that he ends up dead. So she has a detective and another detective come by to investigate find out who was trying to murder her for money it's a good film I recommend it it's a good Alfred Hitchcock movie shoot him up with Owen Wilson uh, not a kid friendly film very violent language and bits and pieces of sex in the film but uh, it had tons of action in it the gunplay in this movie was balls to the wall just amazing the action, the gunplay in the movie is good. It's basically a easy premise, very easy to follow. The guy is sitting outside, he's eating carrots because he's a big carrot fan. He sees a woman in distress. She's got a baby. A bunch of um, hoodlums are trying to kill her and the baby. So he sees her in distress and he comes to her rescue. To deliver the baby. Unfortunately, the baby comes out of the stomach of the womb, but she ends up dead. 
So he has to like save the baby. And he works with a prostitute in the film. And the two of them work together to keep the baby safe. And uncover why the bad guys want the baby. You know, and since he gets involved, they, they want to kill him as well. And the prostitute. Pretty good. The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I don't understand the hate behind this movie. A lot of people said this movie sucks compared to the first two. But I actually liked the film. I didn't mind it. I thought it was good. Follow up to the second one, The Mummy Returns. I don't know. I, I didn't mind it. I actually enjoyed it. Police Story 3, Super Cop, that's a good film. Jackie Chan. Grown Ups, that's a funny comedy, I like that. Lone Survivor, that's a good war film with Mark Wahlberg. It is what it says. He ends up being the only one that survives against the other, well, the four of them that were, there was. He's the only one that lives. Grown Ups 2, good sequel. Freeze! And they all throw their hands up. Put your hands up in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Put your hands up in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Very funny. Very good comedy. Also, I remember, in, I think it was either the first one. I, I'm not really sure, but I think it was in the first film. Okay, time to do the longest handshake. Go up, down, right, left, backwards, everything. Hey. Come on, man. We gotta get going. Okay, little dude. Well, we'll finish our handshake later. And he gives him a fist pound. <laughs> Kevin James. That's a good film. Very funny films. Back to the Future Part 3. Back to the Future Part 2. I also had the first film. All very good. Um, Back to the Future movies. Battle of Los Angeles. That's underrated. If you like action movies where... The premise of the film is a bunch of soldiers and survivors trying to kill aliens. You'll like this. Moonfall. Not the best sci-fi film, but it was okay. Pan. Never saw it. It's my brother's. One in the Chamber. I've heard that's good. That's with Dolph Lundgren. Never saw it, though. Hit and Run. Not mine. My brother's. The Raid 2, I liked The Raid 2, I thought it was a good uh, action film, but it wasn't as good as the first one. Chain Reaction, that's a good uh, action thriller film with uh, Morgan Freeman and uh, uh, Keanu Reeves. Passenger 57, that's with Wesley Snipes. Dangerous, Dangerous was okay for action film. Thor, that's a good film. I also like Thor Ragnarok. Burn Notice Season 6. I actually have the other discs somewhere. I, I gotta find those and put them in here. John Wick. John Wick Chapter 3. I also do have John Wick Chapter 2 and John Wick J Chapter 4. All solid. They have great gunplay. <coughs> good action. Good everything, really. Keanu Reeves is just a master at uh, action movies. It does action movies well. Ah. Sorry. I was thirsty. Alright, let's continue. This is a Bruce Lee thing. I think. Oh, no, no, no. It's called uh, Soldier. I haven't watched that one. That was a Bruce Lee uh, documentary. I do have a Bruce Lee documentary thing somewhere. But that's that movie's called Soldier. Man on Fire, that's with uh, Denzel Washington. More of a uh, thriller film, to be honest. But there is some action in the film. It was alright. Crime story was terrible. I mean, the plot was dumb. The uh, story was confusing. Not a very good film. Going in style, that was funny. That was like a, a comedy slash action 
had some action in it, but it was more of a comedy. About these three men, they're about to retire, but uh, the bank kind of messes up their credit, and you know they basically were up shit's creek, didn't know what the hell to do. So the three of them decided to rob a bank, you know, and get the money. Had some uh, anti-Christian morals in it, like stealing to help out the the less fortunate, things like that, you know, and the you know stealing in general, which is bad. But it is funny, you know. Uh, I remember the scene where Morgan Freeman's like, "Hey, can I have some of that turkey?" And the guy's like, "Yeah, how much?" Is- do you want it of it uh do you want a quarter of it half of it a third of it give me the whole damn thing (laughs) that was funny (laughs) scarlet was an underrated action film that nobody talks about it's good it's about this girl she works with a guy to like stop these bad people who um killed her family they try to kill her too, but she gets away. So they're kind of on the hunt for her. And then there's this dude that ends up helping her. But later on, finds out he was screwing her the whole time. Not in a sexual way. And then she has to kind of find a way to get some help. To, you know, defeat those people. Those bad guys that want her dead. Zeros and Ones, never saw it, but it was an Ethan Hawke film, so I'm intrigued by it. Where the Day Takes You with Will Smith, I like that movie, that's good. Injustice, animated film, that's pretty good. Haywire is underrated for uh, Gina... Gina, what's her name? I don't know her last... I can't remember her last name. But the same girl that played in Daughter of the Wolf... And another film called In the Blood played in this film. It was good. Underrated. Red Notice was an okay action film with uh, the girl that played Wonder Woman. What's her fucking name? I hate when I can't remember the name of the uh, person. Gail Godot. There we go. Uh, Dwayne Johnson's in this film and I think... uh, this is one other guy in the film. I forgot his name. But it was okay. Not like the best film in the world, but it was okay. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, that's a good film. Inside Out, not very good. Quarantine, that's a good horror movie. If you like horror movies where they premise is a bunch of humans end up trapped in this like building. And outside of them, people start getting infected and turn, turning into zombies. You'll like that film. There was also a sequel, Quarantine 2. Although after Quarantine 2, we never saw Quarantine 3 and the way the second one ended. And y'all should know, if you've seen it, they really should have a Quarantine 3. I also heard that outside of uh, America, they called the movie Wreck, R-E-C, and it was Wreck 2 because the majority of the film is filmed with a guy filming the thing with a camera so it was an interesting zombie movie and it was pretty good i recommend it if you like horror films jason bourne not as good as the original three films i'll i I gotta say that robin hood prince of thieves i liked all the robin hood movies except the one that joel egerton did that one just sucked that one wasn't very good But the ones that Kevin Costner did and uh, that other dude, the Robin Hood movie that came out in 2010, that was good too, you know. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, both very good films. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull gets a lot of hate though, but I enjoyed it still. Pandemic, that's another zombie film. Deja Vu with Denzel Washington. That's good. I like that. That's underrated. Kind of repeats itself, but it's meant to do that, you know. In that film. 
Limitless, that's a good uh, movie. It's got like the drugs going on in the film. Yeah, I recommend that. That's good. Bradley Cooper's in that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the King's Daughter never watched it. The Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, it was okay. Uh, a lot of people hated that movie when it first came out, but it was okay. It wasn't as good as the follow-ups, like Pitch Black and that other one. They, uh, <clears throat> there was another... Oh, Riddick. That's what it was called. But this one was PG-13. The other two were rated R. So... They had to tone some things down for Riddick. I mean, he couldn't say the F word multiple times, you know. Because then it would have been slapped with an R, you know. So, that's probably why people got, you know, the hate for the film. Because it was was the only Riddick movie that wasn't rated R. It was PG-13. Armored, not really that good. Pretty forgettable. Resident Evil don't like the newer newest uh, installment of Resident Evil it was disappointing this movie was whack compared to the uh, ones that Mila Jovovich did those were so much better I feel ants this was funny this is a good anime comedy oh what kind of meat is this says the ant to the other ant oh that it's cow crap Really? This is cow crap? Yeah. Oh, not bad. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Funny film. And uh, Sylvester Stallone voices one of the um, the ants in the film. Transporter 3, that's a good film. I like that. That's with Jason Statham. Platoon, that's a great war film. Love it. Excellent. Red Dawn, if you're going to watch Red Dawn, watch the original. The remake sucks. The Accidental Spy, my copy unfortunately is in Chinese, so I didn't watch it very long. But from what I gather, Jackie Chan plays a part of a janitor turned like a super spy or something. Good Charlotte, The Young and the Hopeless, what is that doing in there? That's a uh, CD, that's a good CD though. I like this song. Lifestyle of the rich and famous. They're always complaining. Always complaining. It's a good punk rock CD. Flashpoint. I got season one. Got both this here. That's good. If you like cop movie or cop TV shows. Unlock. That's good. It's got Naomi Rapace in it. Accepted. This kitchen is bitchin'. Yeah, very funny film. Spider-Man No Way Home, that's good. I like that. It's got Tom, Mc- Tom Holland in it. Almost said Tom McDonald. <laughs> Tom Holland is in that uh, Spider-Man film. Very good. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, not bad. Night Ride was a boring movie. Really boring. Woo. Super boring. Basically, the majority of this film takes place with this guy in his car talking to some dude trying to sell drugs. It was a bore fest. Trust me. I was bored watching this movie. I thought it would be good. I thought it would be exciting. Nope. Ended up being boring. The cable guy. Oh, Billy. I gave you free cable. Now you owe me. That's a good uh, comedy. It's kind of got a light horror tunes to it. A light horror feel, feel to it. Because Jim Carrey Cable Guy is like a villain in the film. But it's still very funny. It's a good uh, horror comedy. Percy Jackson 2 sees of Monsters. That's good. Kung Fu Panda 3. That's good. I have all the Kung Fu Panda movies except the fourth one. The Batman I never watched because I read Movie Guide and there's Cursing God in the film. So I I skipped on that. And don't say a word. And that's a good thriller film with uh, Michael Douglas. Although one problem. The cuss God in the film a few times. 
but overall that was a good uh, a thriller film with Michael Douglas that and I think Falling Down are his best films really I also do have Justice League Factory Sealed Triple X State of the Union with Ice Cube it doesn't have Vin Diesel in it it wasn't as good as the first or the third one to be honest with you I know I'm going to get some hate for saying that but I don't care and in the heart of the sea which I have factory sealed I did have Little Red Riding Hood but I threw that in the trash because that's garbage that's junky entertainment and I threw out Ted and Ted 2 which were also given to me by my brother but I didn't keep them I threw them away because I know that there was some anti-christian things in the Ted films I also do have a copy of Seven Seconds that I came across. Can't hardly wait. And I do have another copy of Dances with Wolves, but it's the official copy of it, not the uh, bootleg. And um, there's another Gladiator movie that I have. I forget the name of it, but it was really good. Uh, might have been The Last Legion or something. And that's pretty much all I have uh, to show everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video was long. But I hope you enjoyed. And uh, be sure to check out the other seven parts that I did. I have a lot of movies. And some of them I haven't even watched yet or gotten to. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Peace.